Hi everyone, it's Sterling. Before the episode gets started, I just wanted to quickly apologize. Uh, while we were recording, I had my microphone turned down way too low, and so after editing it to pull everything up, uh, basically what happens now is that if I leaned just a little bit too far away from my microphone, it got really tinny and weird. It's still audible. You should be able to make everything out just fine, but it is a little bit uh, <laughs> more weird than normal. So again, sorry about that. Uh, but. I hope you enjoy the episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Up, Up, Download. Uh, we have got a lot to talk about today. There has been so a lot much. that's happened in the last couple of weeks. Uh, my name is Sterling Matthew Oliver. Uh, and my and name is Jacob Edelman Dolan. Absolutely. And we. Hey, are- I just want people to know, all right? If they yeah. don't know, they'll never know. I don't know no, what I'm saying. I mean, I mean, episode two, uh, we didn't we didn't introduce ourselves at all. That's so right. Who knows That's right. what we kind didn't. of confusion we could have left people in. Um, but as I was saying, like, holy crap, there is so much that happened over the last couple of weeks. Um, That's true. We we've took got, four weeks off, basically. So let's basically, go. yeah. And so, and, and if you didn't hear on the last episode, uh, the mini episode, we have started our Discord where. Uh, we are currently recording this, but in a hidden channel that nobody can see. <laughs> uh, Don't try and, and find it. It won't be there for you. <laughs> <laughs> and we've also uh, launched our Patreon, and uh, our yes. Patreon is going to get some special bonus uh, trailer content. Uh, a certain tier will get early episodes, and that's going to constantly get built out over time. Um but yeah, you can find the Discord and the Patreon stuff on our website at up, up, down, or up, up, download.com or on our Twitter at up, up, download. Uh, but that's not the important stuff. The important stuff. No, the important stuff is yeah. that I got a switch. <laughs> yes, that's the that's the number one thing, which is going to tie in very well for all of the beautiful stuff coming out from Nintendo Direct. Yes. Um, we just we got so much uh we do. there's a lot i think we'll say we'll say the phrase we have so much to talk about more than we actually say the things that we're going to talk about anyway uh <laughs> um that, you're totally I, correct yeah <laughs> i will go ahead and start out by saying god is that system the coolest gosh darn thing i've ever felt in my hands mm-hmm I just, just physically holding the thing is just a blast. I think that at first I thought, oh, wow, this is a bit wide, you know? But <laughs> after a second, I just, I don't know, I, I mean, after a day or two, it just feels completely natural. Mm-hmm. I think that comparative, compared to, like, you know, I had a, I had a, I had a 3DS, I had a 3DSi, you know, I had a, I had, I had a, I had all those uh, smaller Nintendo con- consoles, but feeling, um, and you know they were they were in your hand and they were they were smaller, but feeling that the 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 switch is is uh it's a bit bigger the whole thing together. But then when you you know actually do the switching part of the switch and you throw it up under your TV and use the controller, it's fantastic. I think that's been my favorite thing so far mm-hmm. is that I can mm-hmm. I can just I mean I I sometimes I just do it for fun. Sometimes <laughs> I mean like there's no reason there's no reason to throw it up on my TV. I can I mean. But sometimes I'm just like, all right, why not? You know, I just, <laughs> I just yeah, just it. watch the transition. Uh, so, so you've mostly been playing it handheld then. I have been playing it handheld at work, um, and <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> I've been playing it handheld at work, and then like right before bed. Um, but like a lot of it, I have been playing. I think I think that I think the first day I had it, I just exclusively played it. Um, on a TV, and then I've scattered mm-hmm. out experiences throughout that. And oh, just so you guys know, I have not played any other game except for Breath of the Wild. That's that so, was going to be my next question. <laughs> yeah. I have not played any other game. I have not used any other app. That is the only thing I have done is play Breath of the Wild. And God damn it, is that game so good? It is I beautiful. Am, I'm so impressed. I mean, and I knew that like. We may have talked about this already. I don't know if we have or not on the podcast, but I know that it's people called it one of the best games ever made when it came out. And I and but I hear that about like one game a year, like oh wow, this is the best game ever made. But wow, this is just great. 
It's just mm-hmm. great. I'm not 100% sure if it's the best game ever made so far, but it's pretty exactly. damn good. I just, yeah. I, and not I think everybody, the mechanics are great. Not everybody's going to be interested in that kind of open world experience and stuff. And so yeah, like, it's, 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 it's hard to put that kind of qualifier on it, but I definitely think like of, um, of the things that it does like for the people who like that kind of game, it is yeah. the best. I think that I have one critique so far of the game, and it is that sometimes the motion controls, when I am trying to like use like stasis or mm-hmm. um or like the the ice block one or you know mm-hmm. all of all of your runes um, yeah. can be a little bit annoying um, because you know I'm I'm trying to I'm basically just trying to use my my point of view with the sticks um to do it but sometimes if i like hold the controller and like switch it around and and jog uh-huh. it around it it'll it'll ruin it but maybe that's a setting i can turn off if i want to probably I'm sure it might be um but i i don't remember the, having much of an issue with it myself yeah i either way i mean that is a pretty minimal issue to be honest i can't <laughs> I, and that's like one of that's that's the thing that's 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 mildly annoying me, you know, and that's yeah, I, that's pretty great. I mean, I love that. Um, <laughs> gosh, uh, they they'd added a new game plus uh, after release, like months after I'd beaten the game initially. Um, and really, that's awesome. It was it wasn't very long into into the whole pandemic thing. That's about, about been about a year now. The panorama. Uh, the panorama that yes. I first gave it a shot, uh, and I could not get past the first creature out in the wild because oh, I'd forgotten no. entirely. I forgot all. <laughs> I, I forgot everything about how to play it. I forgot all the controls, how to do combat well, and everything. And so I just did that. Got killed like four times in a row, and went. Yeah. Oh, I'll come back to it later. And haven't <clears> touched it. <laughs> I am convinced. That I may I may not ever do combat well. I I I I I just because okay. So I stumbled across the um the first uh the major test of strength. I stumbled across yes. that one before the medium and the minor test of strength, and yes. I was like, God, this cannot be what I have to look forward to. This is so hard. Um but then I, you know, obviously I, I thought like this is this is the major test of strength. I'll head up the medium test of strength. Yeah, that one is also very difficult. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yes. I, I I I I I figured I thought that if I if I tried to do it a little bit longer, I could definitely beat the medium test of strength if I just wanted to at the level that I am right now. But yeah. I figured instead I'll just go to the minor test of strength, and I was definitely ready for that one. <laughs> I beat that I, one quite it, well. <laughs> it, it, if I, I'm, I'm struggling to recall exactly, but if I am recalling correctly, then uh, it's it requires really intelligent use of your shield, and you yes. do have a dodge, don't you? Yeah, there is a dodge mechanic. Um, there's like a back dodge you, and then I a side using dodge. It quite a bit. I use the side dodge a lot. Is what I did. The yeah. side dodge is always. It's like a staple of the 3D Zelda games, I think. Um, <laughs> it's just it makes sense. I, at least, especially, I might be thinking that just because I've watched a lot of Ocarina of Time speedruns and <laughs> using the side dodge in Ocarina of Time speedrunning is really important to pull off a lot of tricks. <laughs> so that's probably that why I'm sense. thinking that. Um, but you've got a lot of a lot of new games once you finish Legend of Zelda that you're going to get to try out. Um, oh yes tell me all about them (laughs) yeah so uh of course if you want to go with more zelda we have the legend of zelda skyward sword hd this is a uh, remake or remaster of of uh the skyward sword wii game uh which was uh, i'd played it but very little uh i i didn't play very much of it at all uh, so i had so this i'm then just gonna get a sidetracked immediately um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i have a cousin who um he had a wii 
out in, he lived out in Oregon when we were younger. Mm -hmm. When I visited, we played Twilight Princess, which was awesome. Uh, but he also mm -hmm. had Skyward Sword, but he told me that we shouldn't play it because it's bad. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, subsequently mm -hmm. I have now learned um, why a lot of people thought it was bad, i.e. Yeah, the motion I'm controls, <laughs> etc. Um, which I think is interesting. And so I never played it because of the motion controls. I, also, I didn't have a Wii, but that didn't really make it. Yeah, th I had friends who had Wiis. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I never played it. Um, but I... I do distinctly have memories of thinking, wow, I mean, that looks really cool if it, like, works well. Um, so I, I remember when it was announced and when it was launched and all that stuff. Um, and I've kind of admired, like, the memory of it for a long time. And so I'm really happy that they're coming out with this, this remaster um, for the Switch because, I mean, the, the motion controls are better nowadays. The, um, I, I think that, I think that people might actually be ready for the game, especially if, you know, you don't have to use the motion controls. I think that um, is a great way of looking at it, uh, because I, <laughs> people who follow me on Twitter will know I made fun of this when it was announced, uh, this remake just like, cause I've been so excited for breath of the wild too. And so I, I made oh, yeah. a tweet when they started <clears throat> showing this off that was like, okay, uh, no breath of the wild too, but here's a shitty remake of a shitty game. Yes. <laughs> uh, and I, I, I feel a little bad cause I've never really given it its due diligence. And so I do, I am going to pick it up. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, I That's very was not a you. Zelda fan growing up. I only became a Zelda fan like as I was graduating from high school and getting into college. Sure. Uh, and it was just, yeah, it was just a never series that really was made available to me. Um, and so, yeah, I didn't have the full appreciation for it. So we will see. Uh, I totally agree with you that like motion controls as a mechanic has come from its days as a gimmick yeah a long way uh and so i think that there's a lot of upgrades improvements that they can make to skyward sword that's going to make it a really fun experience uh and it, actually this is kind of slightly related is that they're doing a similar thing with mario golf uh oh, which yeah, they i are. don't think uh many many people are probably <clears throat> not excited for this game but I had the GameCube Mario Golf game and I played a lot of it and I have some really fond, I, I didn't talk about it at all in our first couple episodes. I totally forgot about it, but I have some really fond memories of uh, the Mario Golf for the GameCube. Uh, I also remember sometimes like getting ready for bed, coming downstairs and seeing my dad uh, playing it without me. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're introducing motion controls uh for mario golf on the switch where I, I think you can play without them i'd hope you can play without them for accessibility's sake yeah. uh but now you can actually like swing and i'm sure it's going to be better tracked than anything on the wii was ever uh I, I, I won't lie to you i i mean i saw a lot of negative reactions on twitter about it but really? honestly, I saw no reactions, good <laughs> or bad. <laughs> I thought it looked really cool. I'll be honest. I thought like, yeah, oh, wow. I'm excited. Oh, I forgot all about the, yeah, the, uh, the story mode is really like a golf story mode is something that we've seen with like small games, indie games, like what the golf or something. Sure. Uh, but I, Mario knows how to do stories. It uh, does. And, so well, I guess Nintendo knows how to do stories through Mario. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we'll see what happens. It should yeah. be fun. <laughs> I just, I just, I don't know. I just love the idea of like hanging out with a bunch of, uh, a bunch of Mario characters with like, I don't like golfing hats on and like just hanging out on the green. I don't, I like, yeah. I, I'll be honest. I hate golf. <laughs> I think it's the worst, <laughs> I think it's the worst game ever made, but this sounds so appealing. <laughs> Uh, uh, and speaking of Mario, I totally forgot. I was going to get back on Animal Crossing. Uh, we're recording this uh, March oh, yeah. 2nd. Uh, March 1st, the Animal Crossing, uh, or sorry, the Super Mario items came to Animal Crossing. Uh, and I'm super excited to try those out. I've totally been meaning to get on and play, but I've been so busy. So hopefully tonight 
I'll be able to start collecting those. Yeah, give it a shot. It definitely um, looks, they definitely look cool. I, I haven't played belongs. Animal Crossing yet, but I mean, yeah. I just think it's the coolest looking game. And uh, mm-hmm. and those those accessories look really neat, especially the tube. The tube looks awesome. The warp pipe. Oh, fine. The warp pipe. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crucify um, me. <laughs> but to to jump away from Mario a little bit, uh, there is one game that I have. It's it's a port that is coming to Switch that I am very excited about because I love this game. Uh, this was my probably my game of the year 2019. Um, that I think anybody who has not experienced this game, who has a switch needs to play it. And that of course is outer wilds. Um, it is, I was so hoping you were going to say like apex oh, legends, no. <laughs> <laughs> super smash brothers ultimate, yes. uh, yeah. <laughs> which I love. I love smash brothers ultimate, but no, uh, outer wilds, uh, made by my favorite publisher, uh, Annapurna, uh, sorry, I'm click. If you can hear me clicking around or anything, I'm clicking around the Nintendo website right now, looking at all the announcements. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a, it's a game where you are like a, uh, I, I, it's hard to explain it without giving too much away just because it's so cool and just getting that fresh experience is great, but you're, you, you are a space traveler. Um, and you're unraveling a mystery in the universe in the solar system uh and it's the the soundtrack is what gets me the soundtrack is beautiful the gameplay is great uh the story is it's very well written um yeah i'm super excited for everybody to get to experience it i was going to say you have been recommending me this game for so long like yes. literally like like two years now and i've been yep. like oh yeah i'll play it i'll play it I'll, I'll get to it i'll get to it but now now i can play it on a different system which exactly <laughs> is probably what's gonna get me to play it i don't know i don't know <laughs> a, well that's what happened to me uh last week when i think it was last week maybe it was two weeks ago when uh thomas was alone just came out ported to the switch oh, which yeah. uh is a game i don't even know uh thomas is alone release let's see when it came out it came out in 2012 uh and i finally just played it in the last two weeks for the first time thanks to the switch release <laughs> and you had a good time didn't you oh i loved it it's it's exactly. a great platformer yeah see releasing new game or uh, old games again is good that's Absolutely. a very lukewarm take. I'm just how, saying. Uh, how dare you not want people on other systems to also have fun? Yes. <laughs> I I think that the the biggest debate that I've seen online. Sorry, I'm I'm pulling us back, um, oh, backwards. But I think it's okay. The biggest debate that I've seen online was about Skyward Sword, uh, having a sixty dollar price tag. Um, uh, yeah. It's Nintendo. So, they'll 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 get away with it. Uh, yeah, and that's uh, and I mean that's their property. Nobody else is going to sell the game, and so they can set the price that they want, um, that they know people will pay. And that's 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 capitalism for you, whatever, right? But I think that I think that there is merit in people being able to experience art continually. I think that's this is um we're gonna get into the philosophy side of gaming right here right now um i uh philosophy asmr anyway uh no uh i i i think that it is always good for people to be able to experience art that they potentially missed um in a new way um and you know sometimes those experiences have price tags attached to them it is what it is, but, you know, I think that I'm sure that the developers of Skyward Sword, I'm sure that people, the artists of Skyward Sword um, are really happy that people will be able to play their game um, in a new way um, now, you know, and I think that's great. I think that there is nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. Um, it, it is. It is. It, I, I, I think just accessibility in general uh, is really important with gaming, making sure that people can get these storytelling experiences in as many ways as possible. Um, and I use accessibility as a very broad term in terms of like where to get the game and how to play the game. 
Uh, yeah. It's, it's great to see these stories spread out. And so like, I, 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 <laughs> I make a lot of jokes about, I've always been the PlayStation guy. I, I like, I'm actually surprised that I got a series X before I got a PS five. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I would love it to see some of these exclusives from the PS4, PS5 make their way to at least PC, if not other places, but that'll probably never I would happen. Like that too. Um, but definitely at least PC. Uh because you know, they're <laughs> the PS5 exclusives are notoriously more story driven and and it's true. You know, there's there's a place for uh irreverent multiplayer shoot them up games like i i play plenty uh but <clears throat> allowing people to experience these beautiful stories uh is really important and there's some really great vocal performances that i think everybody can learn from uh and and relate to beautiful graphics great writing it's it's it'd just be great to see more people get to see that kind of stuff um do you know how Which, many times I have looked at, oh, I'm going to forget the name of the game. It's the game with the tech and the dinosaurs. Horizon and, Zero Dawn. Thank you so much. <laughs> God. <laughs> God, Horizon why, Zero why? Dawn, which has a, I think, a sequel coming out this year. Yeah. I don't think it's another DLC. I think it's a I whole think, whole sequel. I think you're right. Um, but at, as I was... As I was attempting to say, even though my brain is dumb, uh, do you know how many times I've looked at that game and thought, fuck, fuck, I want to play that so bad, but I just simply don't have the system to do it. Yeah. You know? Well, it is it is coming to PC. That is that's, one of the confirmed ones. That's awesome. And that Let's is see. one of, like, like, so many, so many PlayStation exclusives that... I have just I'm, God, oh, and I'm the fact sorry. is that it's already out for PC. It came oh. out in August. <laughs> oh. oh my God! I need to finish my PC. <laughs> I need to finish it so bad. <laughs> yeah. But gosh, uh, yeah. I mean that and like Uncharted. God, the amount of envy Uncharted. I've had for people who get to play freaking Uncharted. Ugh. So I have never played Uncharted. Uh, even though I've had a PlayStation since like halfway through the three, actually from the two, I, now that I think about it. Um, but like four or five months ago, I finally bought the Uncharted trilogy. So I have one, two, and three. I don't have four, but I still haven't played any of them. Uh, and the same thing with I have played like half of Tomb Raider one, and then it got taken off of Game Pass, and then I bought the trilogy and haven't played any more yet so i have i have <laughs> things that i really need to get to but i'm also playing through like all of the annapurna collection that i ordered for yeah. my ps4 right now and so hopefully i'll get to it after i do that we'll see i think um <clears throat> i think about this a lot and i think about like it, it's it's the classic it's the classic gamer trope ah uh, yes i definitely want to play this new game that i have been that i've been itching to play that i've desperately want to play oh Okay, I'll go and play the Halo. I'll go. I'll go play Fortnite yep. instead. You know, like exactly. Sometimes, some. I mean, you desperately want to experience these things, but it's the, it's the the barrier of like actually getting up and doing it. I think. Yeah. I think if I could, that is. This is this is so this is so off topic. It's not even. It's not even funny. But if I could eliminate one aspect of like my life, it wouldn't be like. Cause, cause a lot of people say like, oh, like if I could not sleep, I would totally not sleep, you know, <laughs> which, and I like, understand that I love, I love, I would love being able to have like extra time and stuff like that. But yeah. I think that just pure being able to be just purely decisive like that and just say like, okay, boom, I want to do this thing and I'm going to do it now. And then I do it. That would be a yeah. cool superpower. <laughs> I have been struggling so much these last two weeks trying to get some work done, and I would love that. Absolutely. Um, and it's it's I've never really been the person who like buys a game and then doesn't touch it. This is only a recent phenomena. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess it's now that I've graduated and I'm doing like actual work. But hopefully, 
we can get around to that soon. Also, I also would not want to get rid of sleep because I like that you can just have a quick eight hour time machine. Ready to come. Yeah, right. <laughs> I agree. Uh, like, I, like this I, morning, uh, I, we knew that they were going to put out announce the new uh, killer for Dead by Daylight, and I was really excited about it. And so I went to bed early last night because I was like, "All right, I'm going to figure out this thing faster if I go to bed early." Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I appreciate that perspective. That's that's a really good point. I think that's so good. An eight hour time machine. <laughs> um. If there's nothing else on that topic, I think it might no, be good to, to please switch transition to, state to something of play. important. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the state of play was also uh, from PlayStation, of course. Uh, yes. Also gave us some a few interesting announcements. Um, I will be honest, a lot that I'm not like that I might experience stuff that I'm not super excited about, but I don't think sure. it's like boring i don't think it's dumb i'm just like not interested in it myself Mm -hmm. um i've seen i'm sure there's a whole subset of people on the internet excited for the new five nights at freddy's game uh that didn't actually look terrible i've never been interested in playing a five nights at freddy's game but this one didn't look bad um I, We've got a what's up i know that it's very it's very kids are really into it from what i understand And uh-huh. you know, I, I respect any anybody who plays it. I think that's it. It looks fun for that purpose, <laughs> it, and it's it's definitely unique gameplay. And I uh, it's I think it could deal really well with some some uh, expansions, much like what it looks like they're trying to do with the gameplay for the new one. Totally. Um, but of course, we also have another Odd World game coming out. Uh, Odd World is a ip that has like a very dedicated fan base um there's some very iconic imagery that has come out of the odd world series uh since i think like the late 90s when the first one came out i'll be Uh, honest i have never heard of this game in my life (laughs) you've never heard of odd world oh wow what is it is so yeah it's been out for a couple of decades now i have never played any of them myself but i have seen gameplay from some of them seen images of some of them sure. uh, i know odd world is um a planet and that that planet is where all of these games take place and it, it's a very like deserty environment um kind of mad maxian almost it's just got a bunch of really weird creatures in it. <laughs> hey i respect uh, it i love that <laughs> yeah um <laughs> I'm be real. I don't. I don't know much about the lore. Like I said, like I haven't played it myself. I've just seen sure. images. And uh, but like it's iconic imagery. Uh, some of these creatures uh, is very popular, and so I know that there is going to be people very excited to see that. Um, I know what I'm googling next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got the Final Fantasy VII remake and the new a new chapter coming in that, uh, which will be featuring Tifa. I have not played the first part of the remake yet. I am waiting to get uh, like a PS5 before I get some of these uh, bigger releases. But yeah. the interesting thing with the Final Fantasy VII remake, they're calling it Intergrade, is the new chapter, uh, is that you have to have a PS5 to play this one. Uh, this is not going to be available on the PS4, and <clears throat> it's going to have content that you can only play yeah on the ps5 ps5 uh, exclusive exactly which neat. is i think it might be the first title that is doing that all right uh, we're getting to that era we're we're no longer in the in the the bridge era we're now in the all right if you want to play these games by the new system era mm-hmm. yeah I think there is an upgrade. Like if you have the PS4 version of the Final Fantasy VII remake, you do get the PS5 version of it. Uh, But you still have to purchase the new content, I think, is how it works out. Um, It looks beautiful. It like it it makes sense as to why they are uh, making it so that you can only have it on this PS5 with the ray tracing and all of that, because it's stunning. Um, I also thought it looked very, very good. 
And then uh, we've got the. I'd say this is probably the biggest thing that there was in the in the announcement was a new Death Loop trailer. God, uh, it looks so which, good. It looks great, and we've been hearing so much about Death Loop over the last few years of of press releases and whatnot. Uh, this is a new, interesting kind of trailer uh, where it took a lot of inspiration from like James Bond. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if we got a. I feel like we got a release date. Oh wait, no, we do have a release date. It's coming the end of May. Uh, so yeah, Deathloop will be releasing the end of May, May 21st, so uh, for the PlayStation 5 and PC, and it's under a one year console exclusivity deal. And so it will mm -hmm. be coming to Xbox eventually. Eventually. Um, <laughs> God, can it's just, just it's, uh, it's, it's sorry March again already. Yes. It really. <laughs> So much exciting stuff coming soon, though. Thanks to thanks to that. Like, remember thanks last that. March is when we got Animal Crossing. Um, oh, it is, isn't it? Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my and, god. <laughs> uh, and, and yeah, this this time of year is going to be really good for some exciting releases, and I think Deathloop is going to be one of those ones that really takes the cake. It, it's taking a similar time slot that Last of Us Part Two did last year. Mm -hmm. Um, and. Like I said, it's one that we've been hearing about for ages, and anything to do with a good time mechanic, a la Outer Wilds, uh, I, yes. I'm just super excited to <laughs> to get my hands on it, uh, and I'm just hoping I can make the time to play it when it does come out. This uh, is um, not gaming related, but whatever. Um, have you seen the movie Palm Springs? No, I've not. So... It's Andy Sandberg and okay. um, uh, the actress, her name is Kristen Melody, I believe. Um, she was in that uh, episode of uh, Black Mirror, the USS Callister. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. She was the lead in that episode. Um, oh, and... she's, she's the mom on How I Met Your Mother. Oh, yeah, she is, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Look at her. She's great. <laughs> um, but... Uh, uh, they're the two leads, and it has a really very very fun time mechanic. I won't spoil anything for you, but uh, I think I saw uh, a trailer for it. It's 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 great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> you should watch it. Yeah. It's on it's on Hulu, I think. Um, it, and that goes I, for I everybody else. Because because isn't isn't one of the bits that like she pretty much immediately gets on board and is like, yeah, okay, I believe you. Or is she involved? I don't remember. <laughs> I, you know, I, I think that might be a bit or not. I can't remember. I need to rewatch it because it's. I really enjoyed it. But um, it's good, and you should watch it. And I, I don't know if it won any Golden Globes. I or not last. Was that last well, night? Or I'm two on. Ago? I'm on the page right now. So let's see. Accolades. It won one award from the Hollywood Critics Associ Association. It was nominated mm. for two go Golden Globes. Well, it was. It was two days ago. Was there the, you go. Everybody, go watch the Golden Globe nominated film Palm Springs. It's very good. Good I, time I, mechanic. I, I, I've been needing a good <laughs> comedy. Uh, oh, it's it's very funny. And so, yeah, I've, I've I haven't had a good new movie to watch in a second. Mm. Um, bit. Uh, that's all from the PlayStation conference that I was really excited about that I wanted to talk about. Totally uh, was just mostly Final Fantasy VII and Death Loop. Yeah. Um, there, like I said, there's the Five Nights at Freddy's, there's Odd World, there's, uh, of course, Crash Bandicoot 4 is still coming, uh, which looks really fun. It does look really uh, fun, doesn't it? But the th number one thing that I personally <laughs> have been most excited about over the last two weeks was the Pokemon 25th anniversary, uh, where they announced that we are getting pokemon diamond and pearl remakes it's called shining diamond and brilliant pearl uh these games were most of my middle school like it middle school early high school i played so much pokemon diamond and pearl um and so i'm incredibly excited for it more excited than i've been for any other generations remakes uh this one hits close to home i love that yeah, 
it's it's great it's, it's gonna be so exciting for you i love that so much it's gonna be so much fun because they're not taking they're not going full sword and shield with their graphics where it's like a 3d third person behind the behind the head uh yeah yeah camera style it's doing the camera angle that it did for the ds which i liked while still having updated 3d environments uh hey that's the best both worlds right there exactly exactly and we're getting a third game with it called pokemon legends arceus which is going to be kind of an ancient history uh ancient pokemon history type game where it takes place in that same region that diamond and pearl do but i ages before (laughs) before any sort of technology like the pokeballs are wooden um no way yeah and they are looks it looks like that the research into like move sets hasn't been done yet i don't think you can call out moves to pokemon i think they just fight oh wow Um, but it's the true open world very much like uh breath of the wild how combat just kind of flows it it doesn't break out of you can just run away (laughs) you know Uh, i think i think that's how this game is going to be working based off of the very little gameplay footage that we've gotten um Um, i love i so the uh, as i'm sure you know that this this game has become uh memed very quickly uh but i love i think my favorite thing that i saw about it was that your character can roll um I uh, haven't seen that. <laughs> yes, there's a roll mechanic in the game. Your character can roll, which absolutely implies that you're going to be attacked by Pokemon. And I love that. You're going <laughs> to be attacked by Pokemon, and Pokemon are going to beat your ass. And I. The Dark Souls of Pokemon. <laughs> the Dark Souls of Pokemon is. I. That's all I've ever wanted. That's all I've ever wanted in life. <laughs> I think this is the game that'll get me to play Pokemon. <laughs> it, uh, I'm, I'm excited. It should be, uh, yeah, should be extremely interesting because it's, it's one of the most fresh things that the series will have done in a long time. This is going to be the yeah. first time that they really break from their formula, um, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it uh the, the people are you know people are being really good about tempering their expectations i'm somebody who rarely gets like extremely disappointed if something comes out and it's not really up to scuff i'm mm-hmm. i'm like all right that's whatever it's a shame but uh and so i'm just allowing myself to be excited for this <laughs> totally um, i say i say be as excited as you want i love that uh, uh and then the final thing, this isn't as uh, exciting to me, but I know that a lot of people are excited for it, is the new Pokemon Snap. Uh, we have not had a Pokemon Snap game since the Nintendo 64. Uh, there might have been a port at some point for some sort of retro thing that Nintendo did. I don't think there was, though. Um, and so, yeah, we get the first uh, first foray back into the Pokemon Snap world. Where you could just ride around and take pictures of Pokemon and, and just vibe. Ain't nothing it's wrong a with a good vibe. Game. Ain't it's nothing wrong game, with a good yeah. vibe. I love that. Exactly. <laughs> it's 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 like an arcade kind of thing. It's like it's like a shooter, but instead of a gun, you're shooting with a camera. Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> and also, I don't have to see Pokemon blood. I love that. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> nobody wants to see that. Um <laughs> my gosh. So that is I think that's all the news, right? I was, yeah, I was, I was worried that, uh, I would take up too much time with the news. So I was rushing through it. Uh, but now we've just got so much time to just talk about it or other things. (laughs) Uh, Let's, let's vibe. Let's vibe. Let's vibe. Let's vibe. Let's (laughs) Let's go. Let's go take out our cameras and, 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 and film some Pokemon. Yes. Uh, (laughs) so I'm curious to go back to, uh, to, your new switch uh with breath of the wild yeah uh, has there so you said you've only been playing breath of the wild is that the only thing you've been playing lately um, that is so anywhere else that is the that is the game i i guess i think that this this definitely um 
uh, counts as the the game that I have been playing, unless you count Sniper 3D on my phone, uh, which I <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's the worst game I've ever played, and I think I just was itching for something to do, uh, <laughs> and that was before I got my Switch. I was just like nervously, like not nervously, but you know, like I was just like anxiously waiting for my Switch to get here for like yeah. like like two weeks, and then I was like, okay, I need something. I need something. I need something. So I just downloaded a random sniper app. Um, it's awful. <laughs> it's just the worst. Dead. And also, just I I cannot imagine the people who actually spend the money on that game because that just must be sad. Anyway, uh, don't don't play it. <laughs> That's the end of that. But yes, I think that I think that uh, I think that I think the Breath of the Wild is is the game that. That is what I've been playing, and it is talk about a game that is a vibe. That game is half vibe, half intense. God fucking damn it! Just roll the ball in the hole. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what I've been playing. What have you been playing recently, Sterling? Tell us all about it. Oh my goodness! So like I said, I've been going through the Annapurna Interactive Collection. Um, just kind of playing every game that is in it. It's not every game Annapurna's put out, but it is most of them. Uh, I just recently started Kentucky Route Zero for the first time, which is a really odd game. I have no idea what's happening, but I really like it. There you go. <laughs> uh, you're playing as a delivery man who is looking for uh, a street that nobody can give him direct uh, directions to. And somebody tells him, oh, you got to take you got to take the zero. The Highway Zero, uh, which is this ethereal, weird space. Uh, <laughs> and lots of strange things are happening, and I'm not very far into it yet. I just got to Act 3. That uh, honestly sounds like a blast. Exactly. It is It is uh, really fun. It's really simple. Um, I'm putting off... There's a game called What Remains of Edith Finch uh, that I am putting off to be the last game on that that I play just because that is the one that people have told me the most to play. Yeah. Uh and so I yeah, I'm I'm going to hold that one off just so I can get the full experience of it. But uh other than that, it's been a whole lot of uh just started getting into Apex finally. Been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight, of course. Plenty of Dead yeah. by Daylight. They announced the new killer this morning who is a K-pop star. Uh, who is ridiculously attractive. Gorgeous. <laughs> he is beautiful. And uh, on the main menu, if you have him selected and you're playing as killer, sometimes he'll just turn around and wink at the camera and it's like <laughs> people are flutters. simping. Yeah. Um, uh, it is ridiculous. And the new the new survivor was his like manager in in life. Uh, and she is also gorgeous, uh, and is going to have some really killer outfits coming out, I think. Very cool. Uh, so I think everybody needs to have a good, like, live service game that they just keep coming back to that they really love. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that's awesome. Uh, it's, it's good. It's good to have, like, the, the anchor, <laughs> something oh, to come yeah. back to between games and stuff. Some nice uh, consistency. Yeah, exactly. For me, that's. Mostly Dead by Daylight. I hop on Overwatch, Warzone, now yeah. Apex from time to time. Yeah, it's... What, well, Nears is probably Fortnite, or would you have something else to do? I'd say, I'd say, you know, I, I don't know. I think that maybe Fortnite, maybe, maybe, uh... Because I don't, I don't play Fortnite a ton, but I do play it sometimes. Um, but, um, I think that probably with... I think that probably Overwatch, even though I don't play that a ton. I guess I just don't play a lot of live service games. Um, I I did play a lot of Overwatch maybe like like two years ago, maybe a year ago. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know. I'm just I I just haven't been very into um, I guess multiplayer games recently. I think that I'm just in a solo yeah. player solo game mode. Um, and I think that's just fine. I think that you just need some, oh, absolutely. some time to just vibe. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, uh, oh, I didn't realize Annapurna had a new game coming out today. I just saw they dropped a whole bunch of codes on Twitter for it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. No, I to and I'm totally in agreement that like, yeah, single player games are great. It's, it's weird because there's 
a whole group of people that will pretty much only play live service games and only play multiplayer yeah. games, which there's nothing with. But I feel like, which sorry, nothing with. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I'm always itching whenever I meet somebody uh, who does that to just be like, hey, check, check out this game check out something like this like i just want them to see uh what else there is even though like i'm sure they know but I'm, i still get very yeah. excited to share the the news with them you know um, yeah that's uh that's i i think there are very few games that tread the line between like a multiplayer and solo experience um uh, I used to think that like Halo was like like the best one at that. That was my very limited idea because I had played maybe Halo only exclusively for like years and years. But <clears throat> but then I don't know. I think I think that the best game that I've seen do it so far um, is probably probably Dark Souls Three. It's not necessarily a live service game, but it is a game that you have an independent. A single player experience that you can seamlessly make into a multiplayer experience at any point if you want to. Um, yes, and I think that's pretty neat. I think that more. I would love to see that for more games um, because I think we've we've got like lots of we've got lots of like story dedicated single player games um, and lots of um, huge like MMOs um, and like multiplayer only games. Um, but there are very few, and then like you know, like your like your Call of Duty, which has a single player and has a. But now they're going away from it. I mean, like they released. I mean, Warzone is completely multiplayer. Um, and so I don't know. It's interesting. I would love to see more games like. This is such a long diatribe. I'm gonna end it here. I would like to see more <laughs> games like Dark Souls, where you can play the single player. And multiplayer experience are like the same game, but you just choose to play it with other people. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say Journey is a game that also can do that really well, uh, which is unexpected. It is a single player experience, but uh, there is there are moments where there is a second player and the. Uh, uh, it's hard to tell if it's AI or if it is actually a other controlled player because there's, there's oh, no emotes uh, or voice chat or anything. Um, and, and yeah, it's just a second player that's there and you're just vibing together. <laughs> I think that's so cool. That's so yeah. cool. Um, and I imagine that there is, if it is a second player, I imagine that there is an AI written into it because yeah. there probably won't always be a second player available to you. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah it, it's a truly beautiful game. Uh, another, God, it looks so cool. Where it's like the soundtrack I, is iconic. Is that game on the Switch? Can I get it on the Switch? Um, Let me You're check, no, actually. You? I, I'm probably going <laughs> to say no. Uh, uh, and you know, that's my decision, of course. Um, yes, Sterling, why do you always say no to me? <laughs> that uh, sounds strange. I don't know <laughs> what I'm trying to get. Let's see here. Uh, it doesn't look like there is right now. Um, but I think other games from the developer have been supported, and so I wouldn't be surprised. Although there, it could be an exclusivity deal because I'm pretty sure it is just a PlayStation exclusive. Uh, uh, I yeah. see. Well, uh, see, no, again, it's on Steam. I'm, Sorry, I keep I keep giving bad information. This is also on Steam. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's an eight year old game, nine year old game actually. Now, as of like a week from now. Uh, wow. And so it's. I'd, I'd be surprised if there's no AI in it for real. Still a game <laughs> that I have been hearing about since that for all of those nine years. So yeah, that's awesome. it's, it's very well deserved. It's, uh, it's beautiful art direction. Uh, like I said, the music is incredible. It's composed by Austin Wintory, who is one of my favorite, uh, game composers. Uh, he's, he's a person who I will, uh, 
I, I will play a game just because he is the composer for it. <laughs> uh, which I did with the Pathless that just came out uh, alongside the PS5. Uh, and I am very glad I did because it was a very great game, which is on That's iOS awesome. and uh, I believe also PC. Um, That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a PS5 launch title that is on iOS, PC, Mac. Oh my God. <laughs> and PS4. Um, I've heard the iOS experience isn't terrible. Uh, cool. So might be might be something worth checking out if people have an iphone or an ipad that they want to play play a video game on play a video game on play play yeah. a video game <laughs> I uh yeah I, I don't know is there anything else that you're wanting to talk about this it's week tickling my we... fancy i don't know yeah. i don't know because I, I i think i think i'm out of out of things to stretch time with you're out of things to to come out of your mouth hole i think that's fine i yeah. think we can i think I, we I've can been, i've it. been very i've been a lot more rambly than usual this episode i think me too uh, well that's not true <laughs> i'm always rambling <laughs> there was only i'm proud of myself i only had a couple couple mac truck pauses normally every time i bring up a new topic i need to think for ages so <laughs> and i'm leaving this in um, i love that i love i love also mac truck pauses i love that <laughs> Have you never heard that before? It must be no. I don't know. I don't know. Must be uh, a small town thing. That <laughs> it's just picked, yeah, backtrack pauses just because they're really long pauses. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I I'm trying to make a uh, I'm trying to make a, a WAP joke here, but I, I can't. Think of <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, I I'm super happy that uh, that we've got people that are actually enjoying the podcast and are sticking with us like through yeah, the end we of love you guys. And stuff it's great um uh remember that we have our discord and our patreon set up uh if you go to patreon.com slash up up download you can get more information there uh or our website up up download.com has the link to our discord you can also find us on twitter and instagram at up up download uh up up download pretty much everywhere, everywhere. Uh, we're trying to be everywhere we're not virtually ubiquitous yet but uh we i'm working on it we hope, I'm hope to be it. at some point um remember on the patreon you will get early access to episodes and you will get special access to stuff on the discord the discord is still being built out so if you have ideas for it that you'd like us to implement uh make sure you join it and share those ideas because we're always looking to improve uh i think that's everything uh so yeah thanks so much for watching and we'll be seeing you again in a couple of weeks sterling they don't watch it it's a podcast i, I said watch again i <laughs> said watch again uh so thanks so much for listening and we'll see you in a couple of weeks doesn't edit it out <laughs> i'm not editing it out at all goodbye everybody bye everybody <laughs>